okay? Who did this to you? Just give me a name. No, I think you both misunderstood. Mark wasn't the victim. He was the bully. Mark didn't use his fists. He has a way of making people who aren't as bright as him feel inferior. Sweetie, you can't make fun of other kids because they're not as smart as you. Actually, the victim wasn't a student. You didn't tell me he was going to be here? Mark bullied his teacher? No, I simply correct him when he is wrong, which is all the time. He has repeatedly undermined me. I've lost the respect of the whole class. You lost that yourself when you said you went to Dartmouth. It's an ivy! Sweetie, you can't treat your teacher like this. You have to apologize. All I did was tell the truth. Apologizing would be lying. Connie, you promised you'd make him stop. Connie can't help you now. You know, I've been thinking about all the stuff I did when I was in school. And you know what I realize? It is never okay to bully. That we are a warm, loving family and not just a bunch of bullies. Hey, Dad, can I borrow your hammer? My imaginary friend needs to be taught a lesson. The important thing is that Mark is a great kid. All of my kids are great kids, and I have done my best to set a good example for all of them. I graciously accept your apology. Justice has been served. All is right in the world. You're a dick. No one can talk to our mother like that, especially not some pedantic pseudo-intellectual. Pseudo? I have an IQ of 135. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you'd admit that. So, you're just a whole family full of bullies. I guess some things never change. I'll be going. Mark, it seems like you're the only decent one of the bunch. Wait. What did you say to him? Just enough. Douyin.